Hi guys, it's Nick. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So recently I did a video on interior design styles as well as mixing interior design styles and you guys seem to really, really love both of those videos. But what I thought I would do is really start to take the different design styles and kind of drill down into sort of a buyer's guide that I think is going to be really practical for you if you really love the particular style. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about Scandinavian design and how you can decorate Scandinavian in your own home. Now, I'm going to go through what Scandinavian design is. I'm going to give you some tips on how you can achieve this look in your own home. I'm going to go over where you can buy Scandinavian goods, some of my favorite retailers for buying those products, as well as who the Scandinavian style is for, what are the benefits? Who is it not for? Because it's not for everybody. And um, yeah, that's it. So let's get started. So what is Scandinavian design? Well, Scandinavian design really started in kind of the 1930s, but really started to take off here in North America in kind of the mid-century. And it is a design style built around creating kind of a really cozy and warm space because in the Scandinavian countries, much like where I live in Canada, uh, winters can be really long, uh, they can be really cold, they can be really dark. It tends to like get dark here around 4 p.m. So you want to really maximize the warmth that you can get in the space and you really want to create something really cozy and warm that's going to feel comfortable uh, throughout the whole winter months. So some of the benefits of Scandinavian design are that it creates a really beautiful, warm and comfortable space. Uh, it tends to be really light and airy. It's kind of really great for cool climates. It tends to stick to a really neutral color palette, which we'll touch on in a minute. Um, and I think that makes it quite easy for people to mix. I mean, you kind of want to make sure that the tones are sort of working together, but I do find a lot of people find that if you're sticking to the whites, the creams and the neutrals, uh, it tends to be easier than trying to mix really bold colors that you might see in different design styles. And also a characteristic of Scandinavian design is it tends to be really simple, kind of clean, modern furniture. And one of the benefits of that is it tends to be really easy to find. Uh, it tends to be quite affordable and it tends to be um, kind of common in a lot of modern retail stores right now. So it tends to be a really fairly easy design style to put together. Okay, so who is Scandinavian design not for? So I would say it is not for people that really love color. So like if you are really eager to put some really bold, cool graphics or different colors or whatever into your space, the Scandinavian design style is probably not gonna work for you. You might be better off with something uh, like a mid-century modern style if you still prefer that really modern, clean aesthetic, but you just really want those big, big pops of color. It's not the Scandinavian design design doesn't have any color in it. Uh, it tends to really favor a warm neutral color palette and so if you really love color it might not be for you. Also if you're a person that really loves like a dark moody space, if you're really looking for something that's just like really dark and kind of sexy and whatever, eh, it might not be for you. I find that Scandinavian tends to be on the light and airy. Again we're trying to maximize the light and that's coming in. So if you're in love with kind of a really dark, moody, sexy space, uh, Scandinavian might not be for you. Also, if you really love like traditional design elements, if you love to see, um, say like furniture pieces with a lot of ornamentation, uh, a lot of detailed work, uh, Scandinavian is probably not gonna be for you. It typically favors really clean, simple furniture. So if you're someone that prefers more of a traditional style, I have some friends and family that just really love that design style. Scandinavian might not be for you because it might look a little plain and maybe a little bit boring. It just might not be your taste. So if you prefer that sort of traditional style, I wouldn't recommend Scandinavian. Okay, so let's go over some tips on how I think you can achieve this look. So first of all, my first tip is to really maximize the light that comes into the space. So you wanna keep those windows open. You don't want really big, thick, kind of heavy curtains weighing it down. You wanna go for something really light, maybe in a cotton or maybe even bare, not having any curtains at all. Because again, you're really trying to maximize that light. Again, these are countries where it gets dark at four o'clock. I don't know, maybe even further north it gets dark even earlier. They might only get a few hours of sunshine a day. You can't exactly close off the light that you're getting when you're in these spaces, right? So uh, you really want to create that really open uh, space. And so you want to maximize those windows as much as possible. Also, you really want to work with artificial light as well. So different light sources coming from different corners of the room is just going to really sort of create that warm space because you really want to maximize the light that's in the home. So the second tip I have for you is to use a really light, neutral color palette in the home. And the reason reason for this, again, is because we're maximizing the light that comes into the space. So if you think about what light bounces off of, it bounces off of really light, especially white, sort of furniture pieces and things like that, right? So it bounces off that white elements to basically 
kind of light up the room. This makes sense, right? If you have like a, an, an inner room in your home, if you paint it white, it's gonna feel bigger, it's gonna feel lighter than if you paint it like a really dark navy or a dark black. And that's not to say you don't see any black in Scandinavian design, you do, because you do see a lot of blacks and grays that really anchor the space, but you're gonna wanna see like a lot of light wood flooring and a lot of white on the walls and white and cream furniture. So really just think of white, cream, taupe, so really sort of natural off-whites, um, even into the beige and kind of those creamy beiges is what's really going to work for you in this palette. Third tip is to really look at uh, minimal, simple, clean furniture. So again, not a lot of ornamentation here. We're dealing with really clean, simple lines. And that really came in through sort of the modern design movement that we saw in the mid 20th century. And that is true for Scandinavian design. Uh, so you're gonna wanna see just kind of really simple shapes, really just clean and modern, rather than things that have a lot of detail work. Uh, you're looking for things that just are really clean and simple. So fourth tip I have for you is to really layer in these different natural elements that you see. So a lot of Scandinavian design is about bringing things from the outdoors, from nature, into the home. So seeing things like uh, wool and cotton and rattan and just like really warm kind of natural substances that you see in nature and bringing them into the home. So again, so one of the things that's a real hallmark of Scandinavian design is you actually don't see a whole lot of carpet, which is kind of interesting because carpet can feel really warm and cozy, but generally in Scandinavian design, so you see a lot of really light neutral wood flooring in Scandinavian design, uh, but if you are gonna maybe warm up the space with more rugs, you can absolutely do that. Just bring in kind of really warm natural elements, again, sticking with that neutral color palette. Tip number five is to use plants in the home. Again, we're talking about bringing the outdoors in. And so Scandinavian design is a lot about that harmonizing between the interior and the outside world. And so by bringing plants into the space, you're adding life, you're adding a little bit of color, and it just really works beautifully to bring in those kind of, that greenery uh, into a space that is mostly a really light neutral palette. Overall looks really beautiful and really elegant and just creates that really warm, cozy space. Tip number six is going to be that if you are going to use color, um, stick to really colors that are really light in tone. So this could be like blues and pinks and greens, but just really try to stick to lighter colors. So again, if you've seen my color palette video, you know all about the color theory. So by using like those really pale colors, uh, you're able to kind of stick to that color palette while adding a little bit of color here and there. Uh, again, it's not the Scandinavians are afraid of color. I know I'm gonna get some Scandinavians in the comment section that are gonna say like, we're not afraid of color. I'm not saying you are. I'm saying that if you do stick to kind of lighter, paler tones, uh, it's gonna serve you better in your really neutral color palette. And tip number seven is that if you have a fireplace in your home, I don't, but if you do and you're lucky to have one, really use that as a focal point. So again, we're talking about how to create a really cozy, warm, nice, soft space. So speaking of bringing warmth into the space, nothing will quite do that like a beautiful, gorgeous fireplace. So if you have one, really show it off and just sort of make it a focal point in your space. Draw attention to it because that fireplace is gonna really heat the home, so it's obviously very functional, uh, but it is gonna provide sort of a warm backdrop for your space. It's just gonna make it feel really cozy cozy and warm. Now, if you do not have a fireplace like me, well, you know, we, what, what are things that we can do? One of the best things you can do is to use candles. So candles are a really neat way of just adding that little touch of kind of fire into your space without necessarily having, you know, like a full fireplace because not all of us are lucky enough to have one. Okay, so those are some tips on how you can get a Scandinavian uh, design into your space. Now let's talk about some of my favorite retailers that I think do a really great job with Scandinavian. Now, the first one, you know I'm gonna talk about it. They have a, their, their colors are the Swedish flag. So let's be honest, it's Ikea. And Ikea is really, really great to shop for Scandinavian design for obviously because it's a Scandinavian retailer and that's kind of what it's known for. But don't assume that everything in Ikea is Scandinavian. Um, I would say as a, as a Scandinavian design style, uh, there's a lot of really funky and really detailed things at Ikea that probably wouldn't fit. So they tend to try to cater to all audiences. But if you stick to things that are really simple in form and really modern, which Ikea tends to do. Um, and if you're sticking to really light neutral colors, then you'll be fine. There's things like these beautiful pendants that you see here. Um, I love these. These are kind of in this rattan. It makes perfect sense to be here. This beautiful basket, uh, having this nestled in the corner of your apartment or in your home is really gonna give it that beautiful Scandinavian look. Um, some of these lighting fixtures really will work for you. There's just lots of different Scandinavian things that you can do. Uh, these rugs from Ikea are beautiful and will really warm up a Scandinavian 
Scandinavian space. So you can see Ikea is a really awesome option and obviously they're really affordable as well, which is why they're a solid pick for Scandinavian design. But it's not just all about Ikea. If you're looking to change it up and you wanna do different retailers, of course there are a few and I'm gonna give them to you now. Um, Article.com is really great. So they tend to stick mostly with modern design. So again, things are really clean and simple. So not for you traditional folks, um, but they are really great for mid-century modern, a little bit of boho, but also Scandinavian as well. So they do a lot of Scandinavian pieces that I think you should check out at article.com. I also recommend checking out Rove Concepts, which is similar to Article in that it is an online only retailer. They've got some beautiful pieces that will really work for Scandinavian as well. You can also have some really great finds at Target. Um, I've seen some at Amazon that I'm gonna show you here. Um, there's some really good ones. By the way, anything that I show you here today, I'm gonna try to link as much of it as I can in the description if you wanna check it out. Um, but yeah, so Target, uh, West Elm is really awesome too. They've got really great pieces. It's, good. it's like I said at the beginning, Scandinavian is so popular. Like a lot of Scandinavian design elements will fit into lots of different homes that it tends to be really, really easy to shop for. So I think West Elm, Article, Rove Concepts, of course, Ikea, um, Target, Amazon, Wayfair. There's just so many retailers that have really great pieces. I'm gonna to link to a whole bunch of stuff in the description for you to check out. So that's it for me for today, guys. I'm going to link to my interior design style video. Uh, so if you haven't seen that already, you can click it right here. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Thanks, bye.